Hey guys, this is Retro Youth, and this is the official first part of the series. I'm so sorry about having the preview and everything. That's just kind of getting you accompanied, or something like that. Getting you a little insight on what the series will be like as the first episode. Obviously, the parts won't be separated from um, big four months, you know. I was just having a lot of school issues. Okay, enough with the excuses. Each video is going to be limited to about 10 minutes each because I want to keep them short and I want to have a nice kind of lengthy series, you know, people who have like a ton of episodes, but I'm wasting my time. It's already been almost a minute, so let's go on. There have been tales of a village on the remote island called Isola. With only a few plants and seeds from Isola, you will not rest until you have found the key to these magic plants. Would you like some help? No, we are good. So, welcome to Plant Tycoon, starting with just a few seeds and seedlings, you'll challenge your challenge is to breed and nurture new plant species. While you search for the six magic plants of Isla, you will sell your creations along the way to fund your experiments and research. Have fun. Now, having fun is a very big problem with this game because it's mostly waiting. And you see, buds in 130 minutes. That's pretty bad. Um, we're going to speed up time a little bit in the series. We're not going to really wait weeks. Actually, you know, I'm going to wait a few weeks. Let me just... Uh, options and let's put it on fast and yes i will put the difficulty on hard because without difficulty we're not gonna have really much of a game we're just gonna blow right through it and we need to have some difficulty that's why we have games so it's already been a minute and 37 seconds i am really prestigious with if that's a good word with timing and i just kind of want to get my stuff out there and i need to i'm kind of like hurrying if any of you guys feel the same way i want to hurry to my destination Kind of, you know, if you feel that way. Uh, I'm just collecting bugs and I'm doing the soil right now. I'm putting water in the soil. If you saw the preview, which got you know, accompanied with the series, like once again, I'm trying to use that word, but I don't think it's really fitting. I'm just putting water, making the soil very fertile in a way. Yo, know, that's really weird. But, um, kind of just making the soil wet so I can put plants in it. Now, I will put, there is no music. This is a mute game right now. I mean, there is music in the game. I'm just. I'll put it on mute, and I'm gonna add music to it later in editing, because I put a lot of time into editing, uh, edit, 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 edit. okay, I'm gonna, ooh, look at these seeds, now obviously you can't afford those seeds, and those seeds would probably die in our care, but, uh, we're good, um, we only have one chance at getting our first magic plant, which, if you might have seen from the other episode, nope, you didn't get it, um, the magic plant is the first, the first one is the fragrance tree, the tree of fragrance, and it is very easy to get in the beginning, but we didn't get it, so it's going to take us a little while longer. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to plant these three ball cactus seeds, and when they are done, the zebra beetle, that's actually pretty rare. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray them, it should make the plants bigger. I, I just missed multiple times. Whoops. <laughs> uh, here they are, it's going to be really big. Uh, Ah, oh, dang it. See, it ran out on the two because I wasted it on this one. Um, well, I didn't really waste it. I just didn't use it. Ooh, another! Oh, yeah, it's an uncommon bug, so I got $20 for it. Now, it's already been three minutes. Dang it. Um, I'm gonna just kind of spray. Multiple I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm gonna wait, because if you spray too much too early, then it won't grow to its full potential, and I don't want that to happen. I want it to grow to its full potential. If you have a kid, do you want the kid to go to its full potential, or do you want the kid to... Just stop right at the beginning because I don't want that to happen. I'm just gonna let this kid grow to its full potential and by my and yes, my my plants are my kids. Well, I don't accidentally want to clip the whole plant off. That'd be pretty bad. Um, let's see. Oh, this one's already starting to mature. Okay, and I'll spray down here. I don't know why if that does anything at all, but wow, look at all those flowers. It's actually really beautiful. This game made in 2007, 2006, 2007, maybe even 2008. I don't know. Around that range, my last day of works. It's just such a beautiful game, in a way, because it's planting your plants and making them and selling them. It's just, it's the thrill of the chase, in a way. It's what you would want, and it lives up to its expectations so well that I keep coming back to it. It was made, like, almost, starting to almost become 10 years ago. I mean, 2007 was such a long time ago. It was 9 years. It's from 2016, but, like... Dude, that was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, um, I can't believe I'm 14 now. Um, I'm just gonna breed them up themselves, because then I get to... Okay, so when I get the seed, and I put in the seed tray, it usually says what the parents are down in this area near this cicada. 
And if I breed it with itself, then it's gonna have the same parent. Okay, it's been five minutes, but... If I breed it with, with itself, it's gonna have the same parent, so I'll know what it is. Now, I'm not that good at actually catching them, I'm getting very lucky. Which... If you guys don't know, luck is very big in this game. Well, if you know what you're doing, at least. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna probably... Um, either I would wait, or actually I'm gonna see what these two are. I'm gonna use this. Instant grow. I mean, oh my god, this is perfect. Astera, Asteria? Something like that. Astera, I don't know. Something like that. It is very useful. I want to get, a uh, Astera Citrus? I need, no, I want to get Astera... No, Astera's the plant! What am I doing? I want to get a Spotted Repton, because those usually are the top of their class, if you could say that. They're, they're kind of what you want, in a way. Ooh, look at this. I don't want to take a picture yet. Okay, so... My goal is to get the six magic plants. I think it was six, yeah, six, yeah. And to do that, I need to breed different plants with each other, which I'm not gonna do yet. I will do it, but not yet. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna breed a citrus because that's like the very corner. I'm so glad I have a citrus ball cactus because I will need it for later. I'm gonna make another ball cactus with this because, okay, so think of it as a grid and in the same row, there's there are like ball cactuses, but like horizontally, like think of um, a graph kind of if you know what a graph is like, you know how it's like an x axis and a y axis. On the x axis is kind of whoops sorry. On the x axis is kind of like the plants and what they are, and on the y axis is kind of like what their flower is. There's a little table for it somewhere in the forums. And yes, I will be using that guy a teeny bit, but not all the time because I do not want to depend on it. This is a game about being creative and having fun and being slightly longer than it, it wants you to... I don't know, it's just something like that. It wants you to stay a little longer. And I kind of like that, you know? I don't want to rush through a game. I want a game that kind of overstates its welcome, but just a teeny bit. Where it's like, oh, I'm tired of growing plants. Oh, then why don't you get this? And why don't you get like some of these nursery objects and why don't you get some bio-organic soils and the golden pruning shears and maybe another seed tray. Maybe get a few um, spiders along. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. And maybe get like a few spiders along the way and it just kind of holds up its end of the game. You know, in a way, it's just a perfect game for everyone, casual players and... Yes, even the hardcore players, because I know that some people want to actually grow flowers out there. Um, I've always been kind of... This game, I think, might have um, made me kind of like genetics a little bit. In 7th grade, this game helped me so much with the genetics portion, like the phenotypes and the genotypes. And, and this wasn't 7th grade, this was like a year or so ago. And it would be like, this and this would make a different flower but it would have the, it would be the same plant. And oh my god, I just love this art style so much. I just it looks realistic, but it isn't realistic in a way. Oh my god, I just love it. Okay. Um and it just helped me so much. I got an A in that class and it was all because of this game. And same kind of with the virtual villager series in Last Day of Works. This Last Day of Works just helped me so much in life. I owe it to them so much. And it is approaching on 9 minutes, so I'm going to have to start cutting it off. And we'll start to see seeds soon. And thank you for watching. I will kind of cut out here for a second, you know. And I will come back with seeds and more plants and all that stuff. So just give me a second. Okay, guys, we are back. Ooh, ladybug. Okay, so basically I'm going to kind of cut the video here it's 9 30 in the kind of area so just please subscribe and here's a tip for videos at the ending when you ask like for subscribers and everything and you like kind of point to the next video or the previous video or whatever um or a random video in your whole thing what you want to do is kind of put your icon in an overlay kind of opaque with the video so like i'm playing this video but with the retro youth in the background and my videos on the side and i hope you guys enjoy bye